Let's be best friends. So, so you started in 2006. So t- take me through it a little bit. So you started in 2006, right? And I'm, I'm assuming bar and grill, like the smaller clubs, open mic stuff like that, right? Yeah. So when, when does it start picking up? You start getting like booked gigs, these big things like JFL. Um, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer, man. That's why if anybody can attest to being patient in comedy and, and waiting for, and just plugging away and grinding, I feel like it's me. Mm-hmm. Cause honestly, I like, I, I was getting paid gigs maybe like with some regularity, like five years in. And even then it wasn't enough to sustain myself for a really, really, really long time. And then, uh, like really honestly my career was doing okay and then i came out and then it took off which is a point of insecurity for me to be completely honest because it's like you know as soon as i threw on a wig and a dress i became interesting to a lot of people so it kind of feels a bit superfluous and and shallow and i'm cautious about this this new fan base dare i say that i've acquired because it feels a little bit I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. A lot of yeah. people are like, no, oh, sure. Maybe it's a doorway into people noticing you. Sure. It's a visual, uh, you got visual appeal when you, when you do drag, but like, I don't know. I just worry that you don't want that to be like your whole identity. Yeah. 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 I want it to be my ideas that really, uh, that carry my longevity, but we'll see. <laughs> 